Oh, hello. It's a uh, uh, quarter after noon at, uh, on Wednesday, and uh, I'm never having a contest like this again. <laughs> I had to go cross-reference from, from one channel to the other channel. I mean, from the, not from one channel, from one video back to the other video and so forth. And there's a uh, second-place guy's getting a, getting a Morgan, too, because, uh, of course... Uh, Mr. Simpke got 11, and the next closest one got 8, but Simpke knows me too well, because we, we Skype a couple times a week, and we talk and, and stuff, so it's, uh, uh, unless there's a pile of silver, and he has the same option to guess at it as you do, he sort of has a, uh, a little head start, so let's uh, pull in the bag and see what we get out from Mr. Simpke. Uh, lo and behold, it's a well-worn Morgan. <laughs> well, Josh, there you go. Well-worn Morgan. Uh, and and uh, you can put it with all the other Morgans. But it's still silver. Might not be as much silver because it's pretty thin. <laughs> <laughs> but before the pitchfork people show up, and we'll see what the next one is, and this, this goes out to, I uh, will announce shortly, and this one is a pretty tarnished, but in very good shape, uh, 1924 peace dollar, so we'll get to who won that in a minute. Uh, but let's talk about these movies. Now, these weren't what I thought were the best movies of all time. Uh, so, movies like Citizen Kane and Casablanca and stuff like that didn't make the list. These were the movies that were my favorites of all time. Now, you know, it's, so it's not a, a quality thing. It's a, you know, it's a, a personal thing. You know, this is a... a this this is this is just what I thought were my favorite movies, and I'll go down them. And then, and it was funny because once I started seeing seeing some of the movies on your list, and I knew that I that I had missed them, that I should have included them in my list, and my list just kept growing and growing and growing. <laughs> so here is my list, and we'll just call it the top ten, even though there's almost thirty movies in it. But if any of you had guessed any one of these thirty, you got credit for them. So. And it's a remarkable that it was Simke. Uh, uh, he just, as I said, we, we, uh, Josh, he just, uh, we talk so much about so many things, and and uh, we Skype a couple times a week for a couple hours at a shot. That that he knows me too well, uh, not to get this one. So we're going to have to go back to some silver thing, which he can't, which is, which our conversations can't help many in. But here's we'll go down my list, and and I'm going to give a shout out to. <coughs> Excuse me, Silver Lover 999. You didn't miss it by many, that's six straight. But you're the only one that included The Last of the Mohicans. And I, I, uh, I uh, kid everybody to saying the saddest line in all the history of movies is uh, I Ching Nuts Cook and Last of the Mohicans. <laughs> but anyway, here goes my list <clears throat> uh, King Kong, the original. Gone with the Wind, Star Wars, the original, Woodstock. Nobody guessed Woodstock. I was, a, I was surprised. This. And this I didn't think anybody guessed, but it was really a funny and, and very good movie. Almost Famous. That that uh, wasn't out uh, too long ago. Godfather 1 or 2, you got credit for, for if you said Godfather 2, you got credit for that. If you had said Godfather 1, you got credit. If you'd have said Godfather 1 and Godfather 2, you'd have gotten credit, uh, two credits. <clears throat> good fellows now now we go back in time all's quiet on the western front uh and um, the next one not too far long ago everybody seems in a lot and almost everybody included uh, uh saving private ryan now this next one was a uh, was a movie from the early 50s and it was a very good movie but i'm sure none of you would remember it the african queen uh, with Humphrey Bogart, and then, uh, of course, High Noon, and an awful lot of you got High Noon, 
probably the best western and maybe the best picture ever made. Uh, Jaws, simply because it had such an effect on everybody going in the water and so forth. But it was also, it was suspenseful and a good movie. The, the rest of them were crap, but the first one was. Back to the Future 1, because it, it, you know, it took on a new topic uh, uh, since the time machine and it did, and it did a very good job and I like that movie a lot. Uh, the following ones were crap. To Kill a Mockingbird, one of all-time best movies, and a number of you got that one. Forrest Gump, a lot of you, a lot of you got Forrest Gump, and deservedly so. It was, I thought, just an excellent movie. E.T. Just because, it, I mean, it was the heart stringer of all time. It was just a, just a fun movie to watch. Uh, 2001: A Space Odyssey. Uh, at the time, without a doubt, this is uh, Clark. Um, Sir Arthur Clarke's, uh, it was absolutely uh, the best science fiction and may be the best science fiction movie of all time. Cleopatra, simply because of the effects. I mean, they had thousands of people and thousands of people in that movie and, and the sets and everything. It was just incredible. And, and historically, pretty much historically correct. A Lion and Winger, what a movie. I mean, just the acting in it and... And it was just a group of, a little small group of people in it. Billy Budd. Now, I don't think anybody got Billy Budd, but uh, but uh, I think this was another Melville story, but it was it was just a heartbreaking story, and but very, very well, very well acted, and an incredible movie if you ever get to see it. The Treasure of the, of the Sierra Madres with Humphrey Bogart. This, I mean, this is another classic that I probably, as you kids, would probably have never seen. And I see it very seldom on television. Uh, Paths to Glory. Uh, I think this was the, the one that, uh, that I was talking with uh, Hugh Smith about. Uh, uh, just an excellent more movie. And Ben-Hur, again, that these, these special effects... And Ben Hur, considering what they had to work with, were, were incredible, and the cast and the sets, another tremendous thing. Uh, of course, the last of the Mohicans, what a tearjerker! What a great movie! Uh, uh, you know, just just an amazing movie. Pulp Fiction, just because it, uh, it uh, again, it had a, a very uh, sobering change change effect on 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 uh, on that genre of movie because it was just uh, it was just. Uh, Blood flying, and uh, but yet you still had the, the all the different various psychological aspects of it. The Hunt for Red October. Now, who can forget that one? That was one of the best submarine movies, and there have been a tremendous number of great submarine movies, uh, or which I had to include also in submarine movies. Was the only foreign movie, Das Boot, which is the boat, uh, which is also uh, takes place in a submarine, but it takes place for a change in a German submarine. And just an incredible movie if you ever get to see it. Uh, the Deer Hunter. Whoa, geez. If this, if this wasn't a commentary on the Vietnam War, what a movie. Tremendous movie. Ordinary People. Uh, how, how, how just a, a little, you know, uh, specific events really affect and wreck families. Uh, incredible movie. Uh, no Country for old men. That's I don't know if that's the newest movie on here or not, but oh, there's no it was nobody as scary as that guy in movies. I mean, if he knocked on my door, I'd still be ha hammered two by fours <laughs> to keep him out, and uh, wouldn't have done any good. He'd have killed me before I got the first nail in. On, on you know, really, really classic movie, and Grace Stroke, Grace Stroke or Grace Stroke. I don't, I'm not sure the name of it. The uh, the classic Tarzan movie, which went almost verbatim from the book, was just a just an incredible good movie, and uh, that was it. And uh, the winner was uh, um, Mr. Uh, Drewster Rooster, <laughs> and if Drewster Rooster, who's uh, who's a, apparently a, a a master at the uh, uh, Rubik's Cube, if uh, he'd get me an address and and Mr. Drewster Rooster will have a uh, a tarnished but very nice peace dollar, 1924. And I know Mr. Simpke is going to be disappointed because his isn't quite as thick. It's a little worn, but this 
Morgan is just dying to go visit its friends who Mr. Simke has a mess of them. So these two uh, will be in the mail sometime shortly. And if Mr. Drewster Rooster, uh, when he gets back from school, I think he's a young, younger kid, uh, will get, get an address to me, then uh, I'll get these out in the mail. And I want to thank everybody for participating, but there's never going to be another one of these. This was so crazy, having to cross-check and cross-check and then go to, to the one video and then to the other video to see if you added them on, uh, you know, how uh, whether you added them on uh, as a reply to the first video or whether you added them on in the second video where I talked about you getting extra extra uh, chances at it. But this gives me a couple days at least, and I definitely will have something to do with silver on on Friday. And I've been thinking uh, our silver was up uh, before, just before I went on the air here. It was up 51 cents today, and I'm always happy to see that. And I'm going to try to get in touch with Dave. And I told him I want to tell Dave that I'm... Uh, Probably interested in getting uh, uh, up to at least a thousand of those uh, uh, Barber dimes and Merck dimes because uh, you can't, I don't think, we'll ever go wrong on dimes. But thanks for your time, and uh, well, it's already Wednesday, so two more days we'll have another contest.